Armenia. So a quick intro here in case you didn't see the last video that I'm here in an apartment in Dilijan, north of Yerevan. I traveled by minivan from Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, yesterday, and on the minivan I met a girl from Belgium who is traveling solo. She's traveling through Armenia and planning to go uh, next to Iran, so she's doing some pretty uh, extreme travel. She decided she wanted to stop in Dilijan as well, so we reserved some rooms at this B&B, which actually turns out to be a apartment. So we basically have this apartment. So uh, this is uh, Madeline's room here, the dining area and kitchen and living room, and two more rooms, mine here, and a third, so it is a just apartment for somebody. Anyways, it's kind of a uh, Airbnb kind of a situation and a bit of a local Armenian experience, as you can see with the uh, laundry hanging out to dry. A beautiful October day, the uh, fall colors are in effect. And our plan for this afternoon is to go on a little tour with the uh, father of the girl that we talked to yesterday, who is like the manager of the uh, B&B and does the communication and stuff, and she has good English. I don't know if the father speaks English at all. We shall find out. But he is going to take us on a little tour around the area. So I thought that I would start with uh, showing some stuff that I just got at a market uh, right nearby. Random uh, assortment of things. We have some pretty good looking... Let's get this out of the bag here. So I don't know exactly what all this stuff is, but as you can see, it looks very good and this is all sweets, I'm pretty sure. It is all in Armenian, so I can't read the ingredients, but it uh, looks like almonds there and some uh, flaky looking delicious delectables. And then this is a savory, like garlic bread kind of a thing. I don't know what's in there. It's a little bit warmish. And uh, got another roll, a couple of orange juice, some like biscuits and another like raisin roll kind of a thing. And a bottle of water and the whole thing was 4,000 Armenian dram, which is like around $8. So Armenia is definitely very nice and cheap. So I'm going to munch on some of this stuff here and then we will be heading out shortly and going to see more of Armenia. So I've been munching away on all of these here and this one is peanuts. Not exactly sure, some kind of a nut uh, frosting or whatever on the outside. And this one is chocolate and then coconut. And they're all really good and not overly sweet. Sheep dog or cow dog doing his job. Marlos. <laughs> your name again? Your your name? Your you, name? You. Gabriel, Gabriel. Mongolia. Ulambatar. Choyer. Ulambatar, yeah. Choyer. Yeah. 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 Yes. I was just mentioning Mongolian, I guess he's been there, so, yeah. Saldatam. Saldatam. Saldat. Okay. Ah, Saldat. Da, ah. igral na muzvodje. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Klarnice. And here's Madeline. Wow. Hi. From Belgium. Yeah. Trying to understand Armenian. Yes. <laughs> Our first full day in Armenia, so we are just barely figuring things out here. And so we're going to visit three different places today. A monastery, a lake, and do you know what the other thing was? Another monastery, maybe. And maybe another monastery, we'll find out. What do you think about winter? Are you looking forward to winter cold weather? Do you like cold weather? No, no, I think a little bit? I, want, I want to try this yeah. see how much it affects my mind. <laughs> yeah. Although if you go to Iran, then I guess it won't be, it'll be getting warmer as you go south. But. What is it? Oh, oh your your house. House, no. I see. Shishliki, Mishliki, picnic, Okay. Restaurant, get up. Yeah, good. Good, good food. 
Okay. The Deshavang Monastery has been built in the 12th to 13th centuries and named to the honor of a famous medieval Armenian author in Kitargosh. The monastery retains the remain of its historical value and its deep rooted serenity. So almost a thousand years old. So you have here Armenian on the left, English in the middle, and Looks like Russian on the right. Hidden Lake Gosh. Really cool style on these uh, crafts and clothes. So this is part of Dilijan National Park. I'm assuming this is the author that the monastery was named after.
Hello. So this is Hagart Sin Monastery. Here are the graves of kings Sambat and Gagak of royal dynasty Bagratuni and three princes. St. George's Park. Honey House. And this is like a bakery, I guess. Cold drinks, hot drinks, Sally ice cream. Gata baked good with different fillings. Hello. You can see the coals glowing there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Traditional butter and sugar, apricot, blueberry lemon, cheese and tarragon. That's two dollars, three dollars, three dollars. Lake Pars? Pars? This is Pars Lake. This is Pars Lake. And there's a, uh, like a obstacle course kind of a thing up there. The bridge to nowhere. Thank <laughs> you. 
extreme park. All in Armenian. They have a unique language and unique writing. Totally different from Georgian or anything else. Start up there, go around, and then through. Two thousand eight. Oh, so this is what it was like in two thousand eight, I guess. Wow, they have done a, a good job. Nice lodge here. Which I guess wouldn't be that old since it looks like everything was constructed since 2008. It was just a kind of remote lake before then. Very nicely done though. Love all the uh, hardwood. Look at this old thing. We're not gonna stay at Pars Lake long. This is more of a place to come during the day and take a swim and hang out for the afternoon. Going to head back, the uh, little tour today is over, and go uh, hang out at the apartment and uh, then go out and find some good Armenian food. All right, we're uh, back at the same restaurant, Kut Kutchuch, right? Kutchuch. Something like that, and I uh, kind of forgot to make a video before, but I'll just show really quick. So this is a yogurt meatball noodle soup here, and this is buffalo chicken, like, dip or something like that. This was a appetizer, and it's actually bigger than the little uh, soup. This is only $2. This was, I forget, maybe four dollars or something. And then, noodles with vegetables. Madeline had a, a yeah, noodle vegetable dish. Oh. And some bread. And that is looking really good. It is very hot, so waiting for it to cool down here, but. Uh, So this one is one of the most delicious dishes I have had. It is so good. It's very creamy. There's chicken there. It is quite spicy, a bit hot. The flavors are just out of this world. Different, uh, different types of flavors kind of all intermingling. Cheesy. This one is really good. Buffalo, buffalo chicken. There was some uh, blue cheese dressing as part of what's in there. Definitely recommend this one.